welcome back to another vlog in uh, South East Mumbai. Going to have a walk around today, do some exploring. Uh, just heading to Starbucks, get hit up on some coffee, uh, and then go for a walk around, explore, see what's happening. Once again, this is the South East part of Mumbai. I think it's pretty quiet here. Like this particular area and roads are quiet. Uh, they've got docks here I think which is behind these walls and old like train station and that but it's all pretty much disused I think so there's still shipping and that going on there but it's on a minimal scale uh, so yeah it's quieter here than it would be at other parts around the city where it's like really really busy and that so yeah just walking up this road then head Starbucks get some coffee and uh, begin the day's adventures yeah, so just got our first coffee then. See, it's Cafe Latte. Mm, it's a good one, 90 rupee from this place here. This place is called We Wait. I think. We Wait Cafe. Good coffee there, very good coffee. 90 rupee cafe latte. Mm. Checking out this Mumbai scaffolding. Just bits of bamboo and that lashed together. Bamboo scaff, and it. Got another quick coffee in. This is a uh, a street coffee. Uh, 15 rupee. Uh, made in front of me, hot in the pan with milk. Uh, standard, basically, 15 rupee. Tastes nice, but really small portion. Mm. Nice. Yeah, sure, taking a quick stroll through uh, Mumbai. Gotta say, some of the buildings in that area are pretty impressive. Now, if you like walking around looking at buildings, it's a nice place to come. Pretty quiet here in the streets and that. I think today is Sunday though. Yeah, it's Sunday. So obviously it's picking up. I think town and that, but it seems really peaceful and quiet here. Really nice buildings to look at though. And kind of like small markets, not big markets, small markets. Uh, so obviously you can go in a market, it's small, and you can just take your time looking at what they got there, like t-shirts, jeans, hats, you know, and like nail clippers, scissors. You know, just little things you might need for travel. Uh, so it's really nice around here. So this is Mumbai. This is like central South Mumbai. It is really quiet here. Uh, it is really quiet basically. I think, but it's central basically. It's busy, it's quiet. Uh, just looking at the traffic and that. There's a natural history museum back there that I did go and have a look at but I'm not going to go in there because it is so expensive. For a foreigner, it's like 700 rupee, plus a camera is like 2,000. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> main man back there, main man. Yeah, so it's 700 plus 2,000 for a camera permit. So it's like 2,700 to go around Natural History Museum. A bit too expensive for me. So anyway, I'm trying to get to the sea. I think, which is down here. So in theory, if you walk to the very end of South Mumbai, it should end, and then you can see the water. Okay. Basically, so I'm gonna try and get to the water. Should be down here somewhere. It's been for another security check. I think this is another India gate. Uh, just up here. It's got photos and that. I got, no, I got this. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't need it. it. Hey, so this is another India Gate. I think all of these monuments are basically called India Gate. So they got India Gate in Delhi. Uh, there's another India Gate somewhere else in Amritsar, I think. And there's India Gate here in Mumbai. So cool. Look at that building there. Wow. So yeah, big on the buildings here, yeah, buildings. There's loads of buildings, you know, just stand and look at and be like, mm, yeah, good building. Yeah, yeah. YouTube. I'm also a Are you a vlogger? Yeah. You got YouTube? Yeah. Oh, is it? 
What show are you to? Bilaspur guide. Uh, no, mine Super Carrot Travel. Super Carrot Travel. Super Carrot Travel, yeah. Let me subscribe you. You got a new subscriber here, basically. Pick subscribers up around there, easy. Yeah. What's your name, bro? My name is Pradeep. And Pradeep. I, I also have a YouTube channel named Bilaspur Guide. Bilas. Bilaspur Guide. B I L A S P U R G U I D. A S P U R Asper Guide. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, check it out, basically. Check his channel out, basically. Have you been vlogging around here then? or? No, right now I'm not vlogging. Not vlogging, no. But no. I like to vlog. Right now I am in business tour, so I'm not vlogging. Yeah, oh, fair enough. Fair enough, yeah. So this is India Gate, is it? No, this is Gateway of India. Gateway of India. Yeah. India Gate is in Delhi. In Delhi. There's another India Gate in Amritsar, though, isn't there? Where? There's another India Gate somewhere. I made a vlog on it, but I can't remember where it is. There's India Gate in Delhi. I think there's India Gate in... This is Gateway of India, not Gateway of it. Oh, so Gateway into India. Yeah. Uh, uh, can you write your channel? Please? Yeah, yeah. So this is, uh, this is apparently Gateway to India. Ekraid to commemorate the landing in India of their Imperial Majestics, King George V and Queen Mary on the 2nd of December. So, this gate was built to commemorate the landings of King George V and Queen Mary. Basically, that's pretty impressive, you know. If someone's just done a beach landing and they build a gate like that, that's impressive, basically. Uh, Good monument now. Good monument. Good monument, and it's all to commemorate a landing. I think this is as far as you can go. You might be able to get behind it, but... See if you get behind it. There should be water behind it, basically, so... Uh, it's a good location, though. Like, takes up a free spot on that. Like, if that gate wasn't here, then obviously, you know, it'd just probably be flat. Do you know what I mean? Just be flat land and that, but... Obviously, with the gate and that, it takes it up, so... It's a nice use of space. There's a boat there, more boats. Hey, there's a queue here. Hey, what's going on with this queue? Let's grab a look around here a minute. This is inside the gate then. Oh, it's pretty cool. Let's see what this queue is. There is a queue here. I don't know what the queue is. It might be for a boat. It might be for a boat trip or something. Al Mobin. I think this is some tour or something. I just follow these guys around. Basically. Hey, this is behind it then. So that is the gate. You can just hop a fence. I don't know what's going on down here. I think this is a boat tour or something. Let's have a quick look around this bit. Let's have a look. It's just boat trips, I think. Mumbai Harbour boat trips. what's down there and this is it basically there's a big hotel there hotel bombay right next to gateway to india so that's it then basically that is the round tour of the gateway to india there's big hotel here as well hotel bombay so yeah, I just acquired some new glasses, 100 rupee, absolute bargain. India, gateway to India is there. And hotel here, I think. So I think this is a hotel, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I don't know if anyone speaks English around here, I'll find out. Hey, that is hotel? Hotel, yep. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Though? Hotel. That's it then, basically, that confirms that it's a hotel. Uh, wow, look at that.
pretty impressive building there right next to India Gate or Gateway to India. You can see all the boats in that area out on the harbour. Fish boats, sail boats, you name it, they're out there. Just strolled up, seen all this trash in here. Look all this trash. Rubbish. Sitting in the water. They could dredge that out, but it's just left there. Plastics floating. It's even a box down there. So they could clean that out, do you know what I mean? Let's get a net, net it out, chuck it. that clean all the water. Uh, I've also noticed this up here, Bombay Presidency Radio Club. Oh, look at all these pigeons. Whoa! <laughs> Loads of pigeons, basically. <clears throat> Seen this here? Radio Club. I don't know who Radio Club is. See what it says. Bombay. Radio Club. Vokamas. No go in? What is it radio like? No, 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 only lamb radio, not radio. Not radio, oh. I thought radio club. I don't know what it is, it's some type of radio club. I thought it was worth investigating, but... It might be a radio station or something, I don't know, unfortunately. Yeah, this is end of the road, South Mumbai, gateway to India road. Uh, it's really nice to walk here, actually, really peaceful laid back having a good walk today a good walk yeah so uh just entered this building just to have a quick exploration nothing in here i was hoping to get on the roof of another building so I actually get on the roof and have a look over the sea and this one was quite tall but unfortunately uh, there is no roof so it just goes to the top, there's just a load of offices there. It's by Anfar Perfumes. Hoping to get something that's taller than that, this building. So it's hoping to get views, but there's no roof access, so back down, I guess. Uh. Just uh, got Fish Market, Mumbai. I'm trying to walk to the end of Mumbai Island, end point. Uh, so gateway to India is like here. And then M point is like up here and it goes out to sea. But in order to get there, I need to walk through, I think it's a harbor basically. Massive harbor, loads of like trucks, stuff. This is like Mumbai Fish Harbor, wow. Look at that. All of these fishing boats. There's loads of them, all dressed up, nice bright colors and that. Looks like this one's being hauled out. Oh, look at these boats, this is insane. Pulling that boat out, raw. Two straps, I not all that yet. Got to put another strap on. Yeah, I think this is where all the fishing boats are then, basically. Massive fleet here of fishing boats. Uh, just gonna walk up here. And have a look down here. There should be an end point or something. That's why I want to get M point and see if you can look out to sea. God, look at this fishing fleet there. God, look at these boats. They are, uh, they're savage. They're just huge whip. They look massive, savage fishing boats. I think loads of pots to chuck all the fish in. Primitive fishing. Yeah, fuck knows what these are. These barrels, they look like depth charges. You know, you roll off a fishing boat to like blow up. I've got no idea what they are, basically. It's uh, probably like fuel tanks, there's a diesel. They're probably like fuel tanks, extra diesel tanks for longer trips out at sea. Uh, all these boats though, it's insane. They're all just rammed in, basically. Literally just rammed in the harbour. I think if you were planning on fishing here, you'd have to plan on going out. You know, so you'd be like, yeah, I'm going out on this day or whatever. And then whoever's around you is gonna have to come and get their boats out the way so you can get yours out the way. Uh, Cause it's just like a fucking clutter 
of uh, it's just a clutter of boats basically all wooden boats hey what's this here like some fish dry cellar here's all the netters so these guys are the netters fish netter guys this should be towards the end basically as well so I can see the sea fishing boats and that it's like grappling look they're all fixing the nets up wow I don't know where the channel is somewhere around there there'll be a channel that you can let the boats out assumingly uh, look at all these nets These are all the nets, assuming least. So they just go out, drop the nets out, catch fish, come back in, and that's it. So this is the sea, I think. Be the Indian Ocean. Proper murky. Can't even see anything out there, basically. There's ships really far out. I can see ships really far out. Yo, you're right, sir? There's ships really far out, but they're, like, beyond vision. This looks like the channel where all the boats go out. So all these fishing boats, all these boats down there, obviously they go out, fish, and then come back in and park in there. This is the, uh, I think this is the channel they all go down. So right there, they come along here and then go in there and park there. Oh, I'm just going to show the boat like there's no discrepancy about it like these these things look about 100 years old or something probably not 100 maybe like 40 or 50 years old or something and they're still floating so you know if it's floating it's boating what's floating is boating isn't it like these guys even if it sinks you know it doesn't matter just grab a bit of wood float back to shore get another boat on look how many boats there is there all just rammed in loads of them unbelievable amount of boats and you see the city in the background as well wow these must be all the fishermen then basically they've either just come back in or getting ready to go out and troll the oceans this is some more mumbai style uh, trolley these trolleys probably used for fish so they put boxes of fish on it obviously you put like five maybe ten boxes of fish on it and just walk with it gonna go and have a look up here you know what's up here maybe like a fish market or something uh, where they offload obviously so assuming all the fishing boats when they come in they'll come in loaded with fish they'll have to offload somewhere drop the fish off and then it goes gets chopped up diced whatever ready for sale but it probably goes on up here This is fishing boat then. Hey, so you get fish and then put in market. Eh? I know what you just say. Just said something. I think. I think the boats go out there and they come back in, load up, and that's the market, basically. And it goes to the market, and then goes to like the chopping room, and they just store it all up, basically. Hey, sir, what is that? Is that diesel? Is that diesel? Diesel. So fish will come in here and then go market. Fishmen, fishmen. Fishmen. Oh. That's where all fish is, in there? Fish. Fish, yeah. Ice. Ice, ah, okay. Chilled fish. And sell. Sell to market oh. for rupee. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> we'll walk up here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, so that's it then, basically. The fish comes in. That's probably one of the fishing guys. Uh, so, yeah, the fish comes in off the boat. Here it is. Hey, can I have a look at this? Hey, what fish is this? Sardine. This is Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean fish. Red fish. What's that? Sardines. Little like sardines. Nice fish. Yeah, red fish. Sardine. Disco, disco, disco. Bangla. Bangla. Bangla fish. Disco. Bangla fish. That's Bangla fish. And squid. Are 
these things alive? They're not alive, they say. So this is the fish market then. Boat comes in, all boxed up, on the back of a truck, and that's it, gone around India somewhere. Wow. It seems pretty efficient here, so from offloading to boxing to truck could be done in a very short space of time. Like, they could do it in like, I don't know, like maybe like 20 minutes. It's all ice under the boat as well. So as soon as they catch it, they ice it under the boat. And then obviously boat moors up, box it. And then it's into lorries, probably iced and that and just distributed around the thing. Let's go have a quick look at these boxes over there. See, they ice everything. Ah, squid, just loads of squid. They're all dead, I think. Squid? Squid, squid. All dead. Last time squid. Seems efficient. It does seem efficient to me, I think. Like, load the squid up, that's it. As soon as they catch it, they probably ice it. But... So the guys that come back, they're probably going to harbour now. So they'll just like offload all their stuff and just get the boat and just park it in the harbour. You know, just leave it in the harbour. Uh, and that's it then, finish finish uh, in the harbour there's like an island over here as well basically so I don't know what island that is and there's more of these trolleys over here as well uh, so like the trolleys obviously where they put the boxes of fish and then cart it so so if it don't go on a lorry there is fish factories here where they obviously behead the fish packet it up and do whatever just ready to sell it but this is like the prep area. This is another prep area here. Secondary prep area. Let's go here and this looks like the end point. Hey, there's a net here with a load of fish in it. Hey, what fish is here? That's not fish, that's leaf. These are all the boats out. Just a massive hole with a load of freezers in it and then a floor, I think. So it's just a freezer trawler. And then they net everything, catch it, and that's it. Let's see. This is like fish bait, I think. Can I touch it? So this is bait. And then they dry it out. They'll dry it out, I think, and then throw it in the water. And then it baits the fish. So it could be, thank you sir, it could be for like these guys here basically. And there's more over here. So this is like fish bait I think. I don't know what it is, it's some type of fish. Just like little tassels and talons and stuff. This is it though, like little, it's like little shrimp. This is really shrimp, maybe bait shrimp or something. If they're drying this out though, to be honest, I wouldn't want to eat it. Not for human consumption, not if it's been on this floor. Unless they dry it out, sweep it up and then just wash it or something. But This is the end, I think. See? There's rope down there. And there's island over there. Speak English? Do you know what island that is? No island name. Not island. No, military. Military. Ah, ah fort. Ah, fort. Okay, okay. It's still, still operational. Ah, yeah. So military yeah, is on there. Military. Commando. Commando. Okay. So that's commando fort. I think. Obviously, it's not. Uh, it's not going to be secret because I can see it. But that's commando fort. I think. Indian Army commando fort. England. 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 Yeah. England. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so that's Commando for it, yeah. So that's it then, basically, I think. From this point, this is it, basically, out the fishing yard. Boats in, load up, trucks out. These are all the trucks and fish guys and that. Ta ta, ta ta, Ashok Leyland. Uh, Ashok Leyland. 
So it's mainly trucks, Ashok Leyland and Tata, but look how colourful the trucks are. Look how beautiful that is. So colourful. Ram Shanti. It's all nice, colourful trucks and that. Barat Benz. That's a new one I've seen. Barat Benz. That's a funny one, that is. Barat Benz. So yeah, I'm just going to walk down here, basically. Coming to the close of today's venture, I believe. Just see what else is around. Okay. Okay? I'm 500. I have no money. No. I need to go cash find. Cash find. Yeah, I have no money. I got to go. <laughs> see you, see you. <laughs> hey, that's it then, basically. So, these trucks, basically. Yeah, I think that's my sign then. I'm going to be bailing on. Uh, just an adventure of fish yard. Just exploration around fish yard. Uh, India, gateway to India and that. Mission around. Here's some engines here. I got no idea what these are for. Probably drop like fish in it or summer and then just carve it up and that's it done and dusted so yeah that's it then that's another supercar adventure from uh fishing yard fishing port in mumbai been be, just been around checked it all out had a look at the fishing system how it works and that so if you're tuning in thank you for tuning in uh, more ventures come in maximum respect peace out mumbai fish dog it looks like they got that boat out then it didn't fall apart either. 